Hi friends, few days ago OpenAI has released a new product called Deep Research. As the name suggests, the product takes a user query as an input and thoroughly research the web and then return a very comprehensive and insightful report. Now, this takes anywhere between 10 to 30 minutes depending on how complex the user query is and it is also doing an in-depth work of one thoroughly searching the internet and two, generating a very comprehensive and insightful reports. Now, in the past couple of days, there have been a few attempts to mimic the deep research. Now, let's look at one of the open deep research. All right, let's start with the workflow. So, the only input is a user query. Okay, so it's broadly the seven steps. And in step number one, we invoke an LLM with the user query to come up with a very detailed research plan. Okay, what the re report uh, should contain, uh, etc. And in step number two, again, we invoke an LLM to come up with a bunch of queries to answer the user query. Okay, so this is the actual query asked by the user and the output from step two is a bunch of queries from an LLM, okay, relevant to the user query. Okay, so it's like we are going to search the internet in different uh, uh, different ways. Okay, it's like in a rack system, how we have uh, this rewrite uh, query for a better retrieval. Uh, that's exactly what we are doing. So we are rewriting the user query in multiple different ways uh, to retrieve better results from the internet. Okay, and in step number three, we actually go and search the web. So this takes the user query as well as the search queries as an input. Now, we have a couple of different commercial ways of scraping the internet, but since it is open, uh, we are going to use uh, uh, this open source, the search engine uh, as our meta search engine. So it's like a, a replacement for uh, Google. So without Google API, we can use uh, the search engine uh, to uh, search the specific uh, queries. Okay, all right, and then, but for the actual scraping, uh, we are going to use this Gina.ai uh, uh, for uh, uh, scraping, okay? So in step number three, we simply take the user and search queries to scrape the information. That's in two steps. So in step number one, we use a search engine to extract the metadata or the URLs which contain the relevant information. And in the subsequent step, we use Gina AI uh, you need an API uh, key uh, that will give you 100,000 tokens. So that's more than enough uh, to understand the process. So just sign up and get the API key, okay? And in step number two, we actually uh, uh, scrape the internet, okay? All right. And then what we do is we judge what has been scraped so far, okay? Which is this aggregated uh, context, okay? So we provide another LLM, the user query, the research plan, and the extracted information are the context so far. So it's like we ask that LLM, hey, I want to answer this query and this is my plan and this is all, uh, sorry, this is all the information I have. Now you tell me if I have enough information or I need to come up with a new research plan or I need to do more, okay? So the output is going to be a new research plan. All right, and then in step number five, similar to what we did between step one and two, where we came up with a research plan and then created a bunch of queries to search the internet. Here, we based on the new research plan, we will create more queries to search uh, the internet, right? As we found out in step number four, that we do not have sufficient information, okay? All right, so we get more context in this step and we repeat these step number four and five uh, until we get satisfactory results. Once we have the satisfactory results, we will uh, create a writing plan similar to how we created a research plan. We create a research plan using what's our user query and what's the context or what's the aggregated uh, context we have so far in this iterative process, okay? And finally, in step number seven, we will actually create uh, uh, the report. All right, now for this exercise, uh, I'm using uh, the 7 billion parameter model 
and also I'm using Olama. Now, these results are not as impressive as uh, the OpenAI reports, uh, which is not surprising, uh, which, which is expected. The reason is because it's only a 7 billion parameter model, couple of hundreds of times smaller than uh, the OpenAI models. But if we can use the largest version of DeepSeq model or even the 32 billion or 70 billion parameter model, uh, we will get uh, much better results. And the second one is when we run these models using Olama, uh, we have a limited context length. So it's not like uh, uh, it's only a few thousands of tokens as opposed to hundreds of thousands of, token, uh, thousands of tokens when we have models of size uh, one to two orders of magnitude higher, 70 to 700 billion uh, parameters of that range. And finally, uh, the web search is a very important part of uh, this whole process. Now, I have used a very limited number of iterations, so it could not scrape as much information as it needed uh, to provide a very comprehensive uh, insightful report okay so this is how it looks like now all right so here is the main function now so first it asks uh, enter the user query uh, so i simply said uh, ai agents now the next two parameters are related to how many iterations it takes and for each iteration uh, how many urls it can script now obviously these two parameters can be abstracted away from the user uh, as you can see we have some default so uh, here I mentioned the step four, five, depending on if the LLM is satisfied with the extracted context so far, whether it will do one more iteration, uh, which is again uh, uh, repeating what's in this step two and three, uh, that's referred to the number of iterations. And then we can also set a limitation on how many URLs we can scrape uh, in each iteration. So by default here we have four. Uh, so I set the number of iterations to only five and the number of web pages uh, 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 it can scroll uh, at each uh, iteration uh, is only four, okay? Now, so let's look at the workflow, how it's being implemented. All right, so here we get those three parameters, but the main one is really what's that query or the topic, okay? All right, so we'll use this async. Uh, that's because when we scrape uh, the internet, uh, when we have multiple queries, uh, we can do them uh, simultaneously independent of one another. So we can do parallel processing, okay? So this is the first one. As you can see here, make initial research plan. So we simply supply what's the user query and uh, we cre come up with a, a research plan to uh, adequately or comprehensively answer the user query. Now let's look at this function. Now all the functions involving LLM calls, uh, as you know, uh, it's pretty much a good prompt, right? Invoking the LLM, uh, it's a standard process. Uh, so it's just the prompt, how detailed, how uh, uh, clear the prompt is, okay? So let's look at this function. All right, so this is the initial uh, search uh, plan, okay, research plan. So it simply takes the user query. So ask the reasoning LLM to provide a research plan based on the user query. Now, I will not go into the details, but as you can see, we are simply asking an LLM, hey, I want to be able to answer this question. Now, uh, how do I do the research? What are the strategies? Uh, uh, what sort of information do I need? Uh, so and so forth, okay? So once we have that prompt, we simply invoke uh, the LLM using Olama async uh, and we get the response. So by the end of this step number one, we'll have a research plan. All right, uh, it's a, it's a lot of code, so we go into we don't go into uh, all the details. But uh, if you have any queries, if something is not clear to you, please uh, do ask me. Uh, uh, I'll explain. All right. So we did the initial research, and then now we want to generate a bunch of queries so that we can go and uh, search the internet in the next steps. Okay. So the initial query is again uh, the user query. So we simply supply the user query, and we ask an LLM, "Hey, generate a bunch of queries so that I can go and search the internet to be able to answer this question." Uh, again. Uh, let's quickly see this. Yeah, all right. So ask the LLM to produce uh, four precise search queries. So here we are limiting uh, to four uh, uh, queries. Now, uh, all right. it will return a list of four queries. And again, we uh, we search the internet in parallel for those uh, four uh, 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 queries. All right. Um, okay. So here we have the search queries, and then now start the uh, the iterations. Okay, so we start iteration one, and here uh, we are simply using the parallel computing and async uh, to execute 
those searches uh, in parallel okay so here we create those search tasks and then we run the uh, tasks now this one is simply using the search engine uh, we have created uh, uh, okay sorry i forgot one step now before running the code uh, you need to run this docker command uh, uh, so i'll provide you the notebook uh, which contain all the code and i'll also upload my notebook which has uh, this workflow uh, written by me uh, so that you can clearly understand the steps now after running uh, this docker uh, command what you will get is this search engine so it's similar to a google search engine uh, uh, which has this let's say free api okay let's say i'll search for something hmm, what happened yep all right so as you can see it's just like a google search engine uh, but uh, it's like since we are uh, running it locally uh, we can uh, access it via api okay so once you run the docker command uh, there is one more important step uh, so from the folder you run for example i ran it on my uh, from my desktop it will create this folder a search uh, uh, engine so this one so this is where uh, the present work came directly so i was on my desktop where i ran this command so it will create this folder and within that folder you will have this settings.yaml file now one important change you need to make uh, is so go to this formats by default only html is enabled now add the json you don't need csv and rss but add the json so that uh, the python apis uh, they can uh, get the search results okay all right so in all this we are simply gathering the urls the links not the actual scraping okay and then we process link this is where we use gina ai uh, to scrape the web uh, and to extract the relevant information so if you look at process link so this is the url which is found by the search engine and then as you can see we have the search query now this one it's not like we go to the web page and we scrape uh, everything on the page the gna ai it has this semantic similarity search engine where it based on the user query it scrape only the relevant uh, information okay so it's not a typical uh, web scraping okay that's important all right so we get gather all the information uh, so we uh, aggregate uh, the context slash search results and then here we are asking the judging llm that if we have gathered enough information or we need to come up with a new research plan okay so if it's a new research plan uh, then we will create bunch of more queries just like what we did in step number uh, 192 here step number 192 we created we are creating new queries okay so these uh, queries are different from uh, what we uh, the queries we created here so we create new queries um right uh, sorry here we create new queries so as you can see all search queries this contain uh, the search queries created uh, uh, previously okay so that we create a new queries and then uh, this is in this while loop so we iterate until either we reach the maximum number of iterations or the judge llm is happy that it has enough context okay all right so once we exit uh, exit this while loop finally here we are creating uh, a research plan and uh, sorry uh, a writing plan and finally we write uh, or we create uh, the report now i did not go into all these functions uh, but as you can imagine uh, it's really creating a prompt template and then inserting uh, the appropriate or the relevant information needed for example here uh, let's take this one right so judge search results and make a future plan so what does it require it require what's the actual user query is what was the research plan and then all the context we have aggregated so far now based on this the llm will be able to say if uh, it has enough information go to go to the next step or if it need to create a new research plan okay so this is just one implementation uh, of how we can use the internet and reasoning llms to do deep research uh, obviously the the tools uh, we can use uh, can vary for example uh, for scraping the web we have even uh, these ai based uh, scrapers so the queries uh, we can uh, use uh, uh, for example file crawler etc they might even give uh, better results uh, did i forget anything yeah uh, that's pretty much it uh, now i will show you the final results so i simply asked for ai agents uh, the number of iterations five and at each iteration uh, it can only scrape 
four uh, websites okay so it came up with this uh, research areas types and classification of ai agents some reactive agents reasoning agents uh, deliberative agents uh, emotional agents uh, some something funny again it's a 7 billion parameter model so with more powerful model you get uh, 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 much more uh, better results all right so here you can see uh, the plan uh, the research steps um, and then so the urls it came up with and it tried to hit those urls again uh, because of this uh, ulama and the api limitations uh, it could not get all the information uh, it wanted so it did those four iterations and finally it came up with this uh, a writing plan uh, generating final report okay so here we have the writing plan uh, this is the second step from the last uh, the writing plan what it uh, would like to write introduction literature methodology so and so forth and then we have the final report uh, which start from here so here is the comprehensive report again it's not as impressive as uh, the open ai one uh, for obvious reasons uh, so the introduction literature review the methodology uh, so and so forth and along with uh, the citation so it has the for example as you can see within the text we have the citations uh, as well all right it can be improved a lot uh, but uh, uh, again if you use apis the better models for example the cloud or the open ai models and also uh, uh, use more urls not restrict to just four uh, you will get much better results uh, yeah this is just to show you uh, the thought process of how we can do this uh, deep research with the help of uh, ai agents uh, that's all for this video uh, if you find this content useful uh, please consider like share and subscribe thank you very much